Hey, what's going on everybody? How you doing? It's the Mass Rider here. Welcome back. Today's another day going to Sunderland to check out the trails. I had some time to hang out today so I get some different camera angles and have a good time out in the woods. I'm still learning the trails out here so it is kind of a slow ride. I'm not whipping it yet. Once I learn the trails a little bit, maybe I'll be going a little bit faster. But right now, I'm taking it easy, having a good time and enjoying myself on this little adventure in Sunderland. Today, as you can see, I am fully geared up. I got my full body armor, knee pads, and boots because I wanted to be on the safe side. I am riding around by myself and going through these trails alone. So if you are out there riding around by yourself, make sure you're geared up in case you hit a tree, anything happens, you're alone and you know, you need to protect yourself. So that's what I'm trying to do. There's some nice little obstacles in this area up here. There's a log hop coming up pretty soon. Real easy stuff though. I haven't had any trouble out here so far. Having a great time. So anybody wants to join me, hit me up on Instagram if you're in Massachusetts. And let me know what your schedule's like on the weekend. So hopefully we can get a ride out going. Because I'm definitely trying to find some more people to ride with. Because it's just getting boring out here by yourself, you know. Also am saying that it's good to have people with you not just because it's fun and you can learn from them but it also is a good thing because you can get hurt out here really easily get in an accident hit a tree knock yourself out wake up with two broken legs and no one will be there and you're screwed you know you got nowhere to go so it's always good to have somebody with you so they can go and go get help if they need to if you get hurt and it's just something you need to think about because it is something that happens often i fall down all the time and one of these falls could be a real bad one so you just got to be careful out here and be on the safe side to start working on purchasing some more expensive GoPro equipment like the clips because coming out here there's just this little area right here that I end up going on and this is where I ended up finding out that my GoPro clip was cracked I took off the GoPro and it broke so we're gonna change the view up from here on out and this is the view I think the top of the helmet view is pretty good too. I do like it. I do want to do another view too, which is going to be going and putting the GoPro underneath my visor and we'll see how that works out. This view worked out pretty good, but at the end of this whole ride, I ended up needing to cut out and not use a lot of my footage because the camera ended up pointing down and all the footage was just garbage. So. Here we go. I'm about to actually go to this hill that I ended up turning around and not going down on one of my last rides coming here. And this is the hill right here. So now we're going to go down it, explore a little bit and then come back and try going up this hill. So we'll see what happens.
once you get up here, you will see that there's a bunch of logs down, sticks down, as you can see right here. And I was just at the point where I needed to turn around. I will actually come out here though again and try to go through all that because I could have gotten through it. I just was being lazy. So I will go back and do it again on a future video. But right now I'm gonna go to the hill, go back up the hill and explore the Sunderland trails even more. All right, so here we go, about to go up this hill that I decided to turn around on in my past video. So let's see what happens. nothing happens because that hill was a piece of cake to get up even with my stock tire still on I still haven't changed my tire it's been a year of riding and that tire needs to be replaced but I do have golden tires waiting for me I just I'm trying to wait till this tire blows I guess I don't know what I'm doing but uh, eventually I will be coming back out here and doing a lot more riding too because I want to start going through these trails and knowing each turn so I can start whipping through these turns. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Here's a nice little hill climb I end up going up. And there's some good little hill climbs, you know, nothing too extreme in this area. Nothing that has gotten to the point where I have to like really push myself or have trouble getting up or anything that is a challenge you know so that is the next step for me is finding challenging hills which you know Franklin Mass I know they have some pretty good hills up there that I've seen and I definitely want to go check those out and go to a place that's going to give me more of a challenge than these little kitty hills that I found so far. Now I'm traveling back the opposite way to go check out some trails that I haven't been to yet before here in Sunderland because I ended up turning around and had to leave last time I was out here, didn't have enough time. But today I do have time to go explore so there are a couple more hill climbs that I end up going up and some more trail systems that haven't been explored yet to explore. Hope you guys have been enjoying the ride so far into Sunderland. I am on my way to new trails, but this will be continued for next week because I got way too much footage out here and I will be back. So make sure you join me for some more in Sunderland Mass. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you later.